Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ryan Share here with PCDJ Karaoke. Uh, we're doing a quick video demonstration of how to extract using naming conventions when you have more than one naming convention in one particular directory. Meaning, when you import your music into Karaoke from your hard drive, uh, if you don't have conformity amongst how all your files are labeled, and that's what I mean by naming convention. When you look at the file, is it artist, space hyphen, space title, and so forth. Uh, I noticed that a lot of our customers have files that have various different naming conventions. Uh, and karaoke allows you to select multiple naming conventions per case. And that's basically per group within PCDJ Karaoke. So the first thing we're going to do real quick, just to show you this from start to finish, is create a quick group. We'll leave that here it's going to be empty so we're going to add a folder in this case it's going to be on my external hard drive let's see it's going to be this chart busters folders we'll select the folder when you after you select the folder the next step would be import now however if you're importing songs to a case uh, that you've already got music in and you're re-importing the same folder, you want to make sure you check this off. Only add if song is not in case. That way it doesn't duplicate or duplicate entries. So now we're going to hit import now. It's going to file 501 files. It's going to ask me right away, scan new songs using naming convention or ID3 tag extraction. So we're going to hit yes, because obviously the stuff isn't formatted in the proper space. You know, with artist and artist and title and title. So I know for a fact that most of my songs are titled artist. So this is going to be the bulk of my tracks within that particular folder I just imported are labeled title, space hyphen, space, artist. And I know you see here where it just says title hyphen artist. Uh, by default, though, when this is uh, checked off, use space hyphen, space, it always automatically looks for a space before and after that hyphen you know, post title or a pre-artist. So we're going to hit go. And voila. The bulk of my tracks are going to look the way they're supposed to look. However, they're... All right, and these are the songs right here. You see how in these fields we have a disk ID. We'll sort by this so it puts them all together. But you see, these songs right here are obviously not correct. So what you can do is select a track range. And by track range, I mean click on the top track that you want to edit the naming convention for so that this is showing Titus title, rather, and not uh, disk ID, track ID. We're going to click the top track, go down to the last track, hold down both control and shift both keys control and shift hold them both down click the last track so it's highlighted these songs just these songs well I know based on looking at the file and the folder on the drive that these are in fact different you can also look over here at the path the file path within the library and that'll show you exactly how it's reading it from the folder or directory on your hard disk so as you can see it's got disk ID uh, hyphen track ID there's no space in here that's important too uh, space hyphen space title space hyphen space artist so knowing that that's the naming convention disk ID title artist we're gonna right click because these are highlighted right click on any one of the highlighted songs when you choose scan case using naming convention you'll get an option now for selected tracks only Check it off. So now that that is checked off from the extraction method drop down menu, we're going to choose disk ID title artist because that's how these were labeled. Hit go. I'm going to go over here. And you're going to see that they are, in fact, corrected with artist in the artist field and title in the title field. So once again, I, I selected the track range of the songs that I needed to edit, right click, scan case using naming convention, 
Make sure that selected tracks only is highlighted. Select the proper naming convention for those particular tracks. Hit go, and it'll format them properly. So now these songs obviously match the rest of my inventory here in my case. So hopefully that helps. And of course, you can uh, select as many tracks as you want when you're doing that, when you want to rename uh, songs within a case uh, or one at a time. Uh, I've seen some really odd naming conventions out there, and that's, you know, sometimes you have to manually edit them. But the bulk of the time, we're going to have a proper naming convention that matches it. Uh, so you can pick that extraction method and make sure they format properly.